Okay, I wanted to document my setup for restoring these batteries we find in the Priuses. Uh, these are actually, oddly, <laughs> the Superstar Platinums are common. It's this and the Napa uh, AGM. I forget the model offhand. I'll try to update that maybe with some text overlay. But finding these at uh, literally down to one volt, you know, one point something volts. Completely discharged and literally where there's maybe a 10 cold cranking amp and then internal resistance and I don't know, hundreds of uh, milliohms. It's really high. So what I do is I've used other power supplies, but lately I've been using this uh, just a power supply for I think like a train station or something. Picked up at the Goodwill for a couple bucks. I'll uh, measure to see what the voltage setting is and make sure the polarity is correct set it around 14.4 volts and uh, literally just tape it on to the terminals after i clean those heads sedation off and leave it until the battery reads somewhere around ideally 12 volts but i've been as lazy just to see what would happen if i pull it off at 9 volts once i get it up at least uh, 9 10 volts and this is literally one I just restored. Once that's done, I switch over to this little automatic battery charger maintainer that does the desulfating. And uh, this is uh, like about an amp, uh, 12 volt charger. And I'll leave that at least two days, sometimes three days, usually not more than three days, but two or three days at least and it's not always it's not, actually it's never charged at this point i'll test it and voltage might be up there above 12 volt maybe 13 but the cca measured usually never over 100 at least the first time running this then i'll put it on this charger three amp hour agm setting let that complete the charge and then it's usually charged or close to charge it's always been in my experience over 300 cca 300 amps and the internal resistance goes down below 10 and then i'll put it back onto this and usually you do that once and this this charge will actually be able to charge completely so i've been i'm looking back and assessing i've only had one battery and that was from the 2013 the original 285,000 mile toyota agm battery I've not been able to successfully restore back above 300 something cold cranking amps. All the other ones, uh, two Napa and three Super Star Platinums, been able to restore. So yeah, kind of neat uh, protocol, but somebody had mentioned I should document it. So uh, yeah, I think I've got most of the information there and amazingly that does work. So effective for at least these uh, Prius controller 12 volt batteries because they're really not a starter battery they're just a controller power of the controls electronic yeah there's a setup okay be safe stay healthy until next time save 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 learn something new grace be with you